Just before I head off, I was just thinking that you could probably leave your vehicle here while you're actually going somewhere that's near a trader city if you want so it doesn't get blown up but I think you will most likely have to well I would recommend before the server restarts getting it out of the trader city because I think they remove them in on some servers though they remove vehicles that are left inside the trader city on restart so I that's a bit of an idea but then you got the risk of it being destroyed if you forget about it so at least you can't be blown up, as I mean, as in destroyed, I mean the server pretty much just removes it from the server from ever being found again. But I'm guessing this is what this guy's done, or some, whoever's vehicle this is. Uh, or they've just left it. You can, of course, sometimes salvage, but sometimes glitches out for people, which is good. <laughs> so you don't get your vehicle ruined. Just kind of sucks. I'm just gonna see if I still have those wheels because I did see a Humvee on the way down, which had a yeah, I got two wheels there, which did have a mounted sentry on it. And to uh, reload them with ammunition, you need PKP or PKM or something. I've, I've got some in my backpack, I kept that from the PKP weapon, so I think it would be around here. Some oh, sorry, I chucked it in here so. Not sure if you saw it or not. I did throw it in the back. So there we go. PKM mags. You can reload sentry guns and all that with that. Those ammunition, which is awesome. So then you can shoot people who are trying to shoot you. <laughs> or are trying to destroy your vehicle. Or steal your base. And blow it up if it's made out of wood. Which I've experienced. <laughs> um, but some servers have fixed that. They've made all bases indestructible, but... Not on every server it has it, but I think there's a few servers that have indestructible uh, bases, so that's kind of good, but I, s I still like to have the the PvP side of it where people can blow it up, but that's why you make it out of cinder. And unfortunately, I had to let that cinder and all those building supplies go when I was at the northwest. But oh, there's a bike there. Um, but I've, I've definitely got my advantages from it. So obviously found all the loot, so. And I probably wouldn't be here if I didn't, if I avoided getting those. So, I think I might head off somewhere. Um, but yeah, your gear is, and everything is safe, uh, only if you own this vehicle and you lock it, otherwise people can just take things and uh, the car wheels are vulnerable, most vulnerable, that's what people tend to take a lot uh, compared to other things, so. If See here, I can. If I see, I've just locked it. Uh, okay, you, well, you want to lock your vehicle twice just in case. So then you can obviously just remove the wheels that are not as damaged. But I think the right front wheel is the most damaged because it did get destroyed completely. So and I think wheels, if you get wheels off the ground and stuff, you it repairs the wheel halfway or something. I'm not sure. That'd be cool if you like take these off and then you have to. Oh dear. Lag, 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 lag. Uh. Remove sedan. What? Oh wow, you can deconstruct. Walk away at any time. Um. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I think there's a new feature that you need a crowbar for or something. Whoa. N whoa. Um. That is pretty cool. I just got a jerry can out of removing a destroyed vehicle. That's cool. It was a Scotter wreck, so you can buy those, but I don't think it was had any intention of reliving. So I obviously can't access the gear. Still does the motion though, which is cool. So then people are gonna be like, oh, oh, no. So I've just got the stuff in there. So when I come across a fresh spawn or something, I'll just be like, hey, just come over to the vehicle, take what you want, or I'll just go over and give them the stuff that's in my inventory. But uh, I'm not sure if too many people will be friendly, but obviously do the normal procedures, drop your weapon and all that. So, it's just the safest, so you don't get shot, end up getting killed and dying for no apparent reason. So I think I might go out to the 
Uh, northeast or something, maybe. I don't really need any weapons. So, I don't know where I'm going to go now. Uh, probably, I'll probably go to the trees and get some wood, which you'll probably first need before I actually uh, start building or something. Because I think you need the basics, or but I definitely need to find cinder blocks. I'll probably may find them, but they're mostly found in industrial spawns, but I didn't find any at the factory while I was there. So I did stay overnight at the factory, had a little rest there. I didn't see much to spawn in, so I think everyone took them all. I'm going to probably run down to the northeast. I'll probably just leave my vehicle here just in case it does somehow get destroyed while I'm there. So it's, yeah, it's basically just over there, so it's not too far. It's just a bit of a run. And the hero camp is there. You can buy armored vehicles, uh, ghillie suits, camouflage, and everything. Same go with the bandit camp. Uh, I think there's a bit more advantages at the hero camp, though. There's probably a lot more advantages, I reckon. Well, there should be, if there's not. Then You can buy a hilly, but... Or a huey, although they do... Co I think they cost like 4 ounce gold or something. On sun servers. I'm not sure about this server. But... I guess there's always a chance to find out if there isn't too many people down there. Which there probably will be. So, check these. And you can see the recent murders near... Um, don't think you- no, you can't scroll down, which kind of sucks, but... Oh, they even died at a certain time. Well, these guys were six minutes apart. <laughs> coincidence or not? Nope. Same guy. Killed them both. Could have been a coincidence, goat. Were you here to witness it? I think you were. I need to interrogate you. There we go. Get back here. I was wondering what these coffin type things that are rectangular are for. First, they offer ammunition, as you can tell it is land ammo supply rack, and you have to deconstruct it. You first shoot it open with a weapon, they have to be bullets, and then once you do that, then you obviously go and pull out your hatchet like I have, and uh, recon after hitting it a few times, just reconstruct it, and you'll eventually get all of this. So that's awesome. I think it's a random amount, whichever one you get. So this zombie tried to get me, but I one-hit him before he even got close. So he's an unlucky zombie. But luckily for me, I got a bunch of ammunition that is pretty useful. Because they are for sentries and the dish cum. Not sure what that is for, but M240, obviously for the M240. And I'm going to go sell that for big bucks. Which is very nice. And um, don't want to make too much noise. But this is northeast. Uh, just above the northeast airfield, so just used my PDW magazines that are silenced. Did take a couple of magazines, but probably because they were silenced. Um, could have just been for me because I did have a yellow chain. Uh, that probably why it took so many shots, but hey, I got it open. That was awesome. I didn't know what they were used for, and I have seen another one down at the front of Trader City Clan, but I don't really want to go back there because I did hear another vehicle and did. Sounded like it had a sentry on it because it was shooting. I'm just not sure what because I don't think death messages are on this server. Death messages. Um, but ooh, bandits have destroyed a Ural carrying medical supplies and securing the cargo. So you can obviously go up here and check. And there it is. Boom. You can go check it out, but also watch out for other people. So I practically saw the coffin about there. It's right there near the dirt road going up. So probably won't head there. Uh, I'm gonna go check out the northeast with my M24A3 to go and see what's happening. Uh, right, I'm gonna go up on the hill and then get on my M40A3 so that I can have a good vision rather than binoculars because they don't give you much of a, a view really. Well, compared to the M40A3, because it's got a DMR type scope, and of course you can have you've got ammunition to shoot. So just in case someone decides to be funny, or they just want to be a bandit, and or an amateur bandit, and decide to shoot you. But um, it's fun if your vehicle makes that noise once you park it. If you park near a tree or something. But I got the V3, as you can tell already. If you haven't already, uh, this is a really 
decent vehicle. Um, it cost me eight gold when I traded city. It wasn't too much, and you can carry so many slots. I think it's got two hundred item slots, fifty weapon slots, and fifteen backpack slots. I could be wrong, but you can fit around fifteen people. Uh, I'm not sure if those all those uh, specifications of the V3 are correct, but that's roughly what you can do because it's probably one of the largest vehicles you can carry stuff in. One thing I forgot to mention that um, in my gear I did have an Alice pack and a normal PDW and an M14, but I decided to give that to a player at the Trade Clan when I was there. Uh, it was maybe it was a while ago though. But um decided to give it to him because he only had an M9SD and that was pretty much all he had. And he had an ACP survival pack with the business suit uh, skin. So I decided to give that to him. He needed it more than I did. So I just gave that to him and uh, a couple gold because I did have enough because I saw the M60. And I got, uh, I think, one 10 ounce gold for that. So that pretty much paid for the vehicle. And that gave me two gold spare. And then I did have some silver and then I got some copper, bought some PDW mags so I did have the PDW SD I found it in the northeast as well as a few other guns I found in the northeast uh, I also gave the guy a AK AKS Cobra I think with uh, five mags that I had in the truck I thought you know I'll just give him a second gun because they only gave me one DMR mag because um it's you know I, I guess he could find the rest because that's pretty much how I got all mine so I just thought maybe you know, two guns were a lot, and I gave him AK Max because I didn't need DMR. I didn't want to give him all of them because then I would be pretty much useless in a gunfight. So I decided to keep some, and I guess it kind of worked out. The northeast is this way, I believe. The airfield, yeah, it's back this way. Um, I decided to come down here because I couldn't see much from the hill when I was looking down in my scope. So I just thought I'd scout around just in case I saw a tent or something or a ghillie. Just sitting at the back checking his gear, making sure he has all of the equipment for being a bandit. But saying that, not all ghillie suits are bandits. It's just the people who camp on a hill killing aimlessly just for the hell of it. <laughs> um, that is a sign of being a bandit. So, that's being a cruel bandit. I'm not giving anyone a chance. I think the effort should. Yeah, the effort. Either down there or up at yeah there it is. <laughs> I was just like or over there, but there we go, we saw it. Straight there. And I didn't see a vehicle or anything, because I did see a SUV uh, when I was going to Clef, I think it is. I was I found some cinder blocks there on foot. So I ran back to my car, bring it over because cinder blocks take I think two hundred and twenty pounds to carry. Looks like there's a couple vehicles here. Um I'm not sure what the one on the far is. Oh yeah, that's it's just a broken one that you can dismantle, which is very nice, convenient. You get a jerry can or something. It's random. And then that is a GAZ, I think. Oh no, that's an M300 Lada. Yeah, that's it. The Lada, and they just bright yellow stick out like no tomorrow. Uh, it depends where they're parked as well. If they're parked behind cover, then I guess it'll be pretty hard. Uh, I can't really see any zombies spawning, but there is a bicycle there. So, but the bicycles do spawn in the northeast on this server for some reason. Um, could just be epoch altogether, but I've only seen bicycles spawn on this epoch server. So, and if there was someone in the tower, I'd probably see them because I can see through the glass now. But if you can't see through the glass, then you have to get move closer. Well, there's a zombie spawning now, so I don't know if there's anyone here. I might just have a quick little scan one more time. So I didn't really check the front. You're probably wondering why I'm coming back to the northeast. It's is because I'm looking for building supplies to build my base. That's all I'm looking for. But if I do find some spare weapons, I'll chuck them in the truck and give them to people who need them more than I do. So that's basically what I'm doing. Uh, if I do come across weapons, but there is a chance I'll come across a uh, source of building. So I have got one cinder block. That's it, they are rare industrial spawn, they are extremely rare. Um, I think this server's got everything up to date, and it everything's back to normal for the spawns and everything. Uh, it's just some random double spawns of vehicles, but that's pretty much a broken vehicle. Uh, the 
it's destroyed. You can only dismantle. You can't do anything. Can't repair it or anything. Then the M three hundred lighter is a normal spawn. So, although servers do have different spawn locations now, as Daisy Vanilla, when it was originally released in two thousand and twelve, they had designated spots, and then later on, a few months and so on, decided to make them random. So that's cool. Since I guess it helped because everyone just kept on camping the spots and getting all the loot and basically uh, taking out most people. Some few bandits would just sit there and take out whoever wanted gear. Because <laughs> there was uh, the hilly crashes I'm talking about and most good loot spawns. So that's luckily changed apart from the airfields. But um, they kind of switched them around now. The northeast actually has. N near the same amount if you play on a normal daisy server it has kind of the same amount because it has two barracks over near those hangars and then I think another two at the back near the hill I think the radio tower hill so it's on epoch it is the hero camp which is located and I should soon be allowed to be there just maybe not today but definitely soon uh, so it's called the Chinaris as the island, and it's just called Airstrip. Uh, Northwest still has the original name, I'm pretty sure. Uh, last time I was there. It's been a while since I've been to the Northwest, though. Uh, on Epoch, so. I haven't needed to go there, really. All I need, you really only need a backpack and a weapon from the Northwest, and maybe a vehicle. But you really just need to find a weapon there, and maybe a backpack. Because you can easily just come to the northwest or the Blood Airstrip. But I wouldn't recommend going to the Blood Airstrip because there is a ton of people who just camp on the hills or are just going there as fresh spawns. Um, hoping to find some decent loot. So I usually check the f outpost. I was going to say fire station, but I usually could say fire station. I used to call it fire station a bit because it looks similar. Or lookout tower. Not sure if that was a door. Closing or not? Um. Whoa! Oh no, this piece of grass that spawns in. There is there is the aircraft dealer, which you can buy stuff from, but it cost. I'm gonna bring out my M14 because it it does cost. Um. I'm not sure why my magazine was so low, but I haven't fired it at all. And the restart does randomly uh re supply you with ammunition in your magazines as long as you have one mag left. So oh there could be someone on it. Well could be someone inside here. Unless this is just a random spawn. It's an AKM mag. No, they could have just randomly spawned in here. Um I'll just grab Couple bandages. Well, there is only two, so I'll grab them all. Definitely get morphine if you see it. Well, if you don't have much, that is. But if you and if you pens, only get them if you're with someone else, because um, they only wake them up if they're passed out. I'm gonna make it past these zombies. Boom. <laughs> and I think the fall has. Fu Ooh. Oh, hello. I'll definitely take CCO and 4A1. That is a really nice weapon with CCO. Uh, the iron sight, not too much of a fan with it, but CCO, it is absolutely brilliant. It's fantastic, probably the best thing you can have um, for a CCO weapon. Definitely M4A1. What's that? Bandage, another bandage. So if you're going into... I have got the Macro SD mag there for some reason. I Oh yeah, that's right. I found it and I wanted to keep it so then I could probably go sell it at the Trader City because these do sell for high price as the Macro SD itself does. It sells for one, one or two gold. I'm pretty sure it would be one gold because I think it costs two gold to buy and purchase and to own. But um, yeah, Hueys and everything cost four ounce and I think two... Helicopters cost four ten ounce gold, and then one of the helicopters cost one six ounce gold. Um, 
the t oh, those painkillers definitely keep them because you do randomly shake up on epoch I just start shaking I'm not sure why but sometimes you do stop sometimes you don't and for bleeding for bleeding wise you do randomly stop bleeding after some time I think it could just be a glitch that happens with some people but you do eventually stop bleeding and it's pretty good if you don't have any because I did experience that by not knowing I was bleeding and then I just started bleeding so boom can't beat me zombie you're too slow I would show you the aircraft dealer but I'm just gonna lose this zombie quickly